How's it going? Uh, Jay here from Wood Pigeon Outdoors, and uh, basically today uh, I'm just prepping for later on in the year. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to germinate some uh, seeds. All right, oh, where is it? There it is. This is squash seeds, and uh, basically. I've never germinated squash seeds before, so I uh, talked to a good friend of mine on uh, YouTube, uh, Willsby Roots, uh, Dave Willsby. Uh, sorry if I didn't pronounce uh, the name right, but anyways, uh, yeah, I was talking to him. I asked him uh, how to germinate uh, seeds because uh, he's done a lot of uh, homesteading and stuff and uh, he goes I never did squash seeds here's a link try it out let me know how it goes so this is what I'm doing alright so uh, if you watch some of his videos uh, especially the uh, how to do the lemon tree germinate lemon tree seeds uh, he peels them so what I did was I peeled a few and I got a few unpeeled. Now when uh, I'm gonna bring it in closer, I'm gonna show you how to peel the seeds. All right. So what you're gonna need is a knife. I know this is a big knife, but and your seed. Now, if you noticed, I don't know if you could get, uh, there's like a dark line, that's where your seed begins, right? So what you want to do is gingerly, gently shave down the uh, sides, right, give you a starting point to peel them. Now if you go past that little line, you've gone too far and you're cutting this, the actual seed and you don't want to do that. So, and what you want to do is just slowly peel it and you'll see that gray on the inside. That's what you want. So, you peel all that off. Right? And now you got your seed. So these are the ones I've previously done. All right. Here's the ones that I haven't done. And like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to peel them or whatever, but we'll figure that out. I'll show you some more. All right. So germinate these seeds stuff you're going to need is some paper towel this is how uh, Dave does his and I've seen others my mom used to do this too uh, so you need a paper towel a little Ziploc plastic baggie some water and what you want to do is uh, damp the paper towel alright so here we go I think I probably need to do a little bit more, but you get the point. Right. And if you spill water, you use a paper towel to wipe it up. So, anyways, so there it is, it's wet. And what you want to do is place your seeds. They're going to try to germinate. And you know, give it enough uh, spacing so that they do tend to sprout something that they don't cross each other and give them enough spacing. So let's say one is sick or one isn't right. You could, uh, 
There we go. Just like that. Ah. And they do get slippery. Alright, so you line them up on your paper towel that you just moistened. Basically, you fold this over. Alright. And what you're going to want to do after is take this and put it into the Ziploc bag. Sorry about it being all choppy, the camera has been acting up and everything. I need to change uh, the memory card in my uh, phone here. But uh, yeah, so once you're done uh, moistening everything, what you want to do is put it into the plastic bags next to a window uh, in bright sunlight. Now a squash needs a uh, really warm and hot environment. Uh, I live in Canada unfortunately, so it's Canada, right? Uh, so after the first frost is usually ideal to try to do this. Uh, it takes 10 to 14 days for the seeds to germinate so once I see uh, see it start germinating I will post another video all right I want to thank Dave at uh, was the roots on his channel if you want to check out some more homesteading ideas uh, I'll put a link down below all right Catch you later guys, have a good day.